We are here to be a programmer, to, to be a developer, to make some games. We have to know how to program so that we can write some functionality. In order to write some lines of code, we have to create a new script. How to do it? We just go to the assets, right click on the project window and create C sharp script. Click on it and give it a name. I will call it uh, console exercise for the beginning and just press enter and I press enter once again. So my project will be open in Visual Studio Code. You might have Visual Studio installed so it might be open it in Visual Studio. It's up to you of course which editor you're using. I prefer to use Visual Studio Code at the moment so I'm using it. If you want to use Visual Studio it's totally fine. This will be exact maybe not exactly the same but it doesn't matter really it's just an editor so the code will stay the same just it will highlight differently the shortcuts will be a bit different but apart of that everything will be the same so it doesn't matter what uh, editor you're using okay we've got it open and in order for our script to work with Unity, we have to assign or attach this script to some object on the scene. In order to do it, we have to create some empty game object. We could just attach it to the main camera, but I wouldn't recommend it. So just go to this hierarchy window, right click on it and choose create empty. Let's give it some descriptive name. So maybe we can call it a console exercise object and now to attach our script to that object we have to just drag and drop it so you can see this cursor change so just drop it and now in this inspector window you can clearly see that console exercise script is attached to this object as a component because it is a component there are other ways of attaching it. We can just drag and drop it straight to this inspector window like so or we can press add component button and search for it. We can start typing console exercise and as you can see it's already visible so we can press enter to add it or we can press add component button just delete and search in scripts because this is a script so click on the script and here it is so we can click on it and as you can see there are about four ways of attaching the script to the object so now we have removed all three because we need only one script attached to this object if we had all four scripts attached they will be executed four times and we don't want this so in order to delete it, just press these three dots on the right side and click remove component and do it for all three components. Just leave one as it is. I'll save it. Ctrl S is to save our project. And before we move on, I want to show you something that you might have problem with. Because sometimes when we create our script, we might give it some name that we don't really like and after a second you'll decide to change this name but this name so console exercise in our circumstances if we open this script the name of it console exercise is also a class name so if you have a look in here public class name console exercise this matches the name of this script so this has to be the same if we change our name of this file so let's add two to it so now when i open it the name of the class wasn't changed so now there will be a problem as you can see it says that the associated script cannot be loaded because the name of it was changed so in order to fix it we can 
change this name back to whatever it was before or we can just add two to the class name so that it stays the same as this file. So if we go back to Unity, so you can see the script is back into our components and everything should be fine. If we press play, everything is looking great. So just keep in mind, when you change the name, change the name inside the script as well in this class section. So it has to be the same.